I feel a little bit bad that I gave one of our longtime viewers, longtime readers, he even helped me edit uh, Don't Make the Black Kids Angry. I gave him a bit of a hard time today on uh, Facebookandminds.com because he was going, listen, Colin, I've been reading this stuff for a long time. I want some solutions, solutions. I want some solutions. You don't have solutions. Colin, come on. We then he started talking about making coalitions and all this other stuff. You know, the, one of the reasons why we don't talk a lot about solutions is because, A, all the solutions have already been tried a million times, failed a million times, and B, the one that works, it's so obvious, I feel kind of, well, I feel kind of chagrined telling you guys something you already know. So if you, so if I'm walking down the street and you come up to me and start punching me in the face, what is my solution? To sit to, to, to why you're punching me in the face, to ask you why you're so angry, why you're doing this. What is the sociological, psychological, socioeconomic reason for what you're doing to my face? Or do I take steps to protect myself, maybe with a gun, maybe with my hands, and call the cops and put the guy in jail? I don't know why that's so hard to figure out for so many people. We have solutions for violent crime. They're called prisons. It's not that hard. Let's take a look at this young lady in a Milwaukee restaurant. Let's take a look and see what her solution was. So is that solution clear enough? That lady was not having a long discussion with that guy other than, I have a gun and now you must go. And so the guy was backing out trying to save face, probably making some idle threats about whatever people make. What kind of idle threats people make at a George Webb restaurant in Milwaukee at 1 a.m. But what's so hard about that? Why do we have to keep harping on that as if that's not a solution when that is the only solution? Protect yourself, put the dude in prison. Capiche? Yes, I know the one drawback. The putting the fellows in prison for punching women in the face and hurting them really badly. I know that makes the black kids angry.